Coogan Cassia, IFL TV, MTK Global in Newcastle. Uh, delighted to be joined by Joshua Boazzi. Uh, just uh, destroyed Tony Avalon in one round. Um, yeah, I don't know if we were expecting that or not. <laughs> no one was. Um, and I said to my trainer, you know, like, boxing's unpredictable. I didn't expect it. Um, seasoned fighter. Um, so I did, I, if I'm honest with you, I didn't expect it. I didn't go looking for it. Um, I noticed early that hurt him to the body. So I thought distract him a bit to the top and then go to the body again. And um, it came out that way. How did you see it? Well, I wasn't expecting that mm. as early as it was. I thought he would give you a few rounds. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he just clinical, took your time and... Uh, got him out of there early so old cliche that you don't get paid for overtime but it's true so you're, God, not, you're not going to get them one rounders all the time no, so when you no. do get them embrace them this is what I'm saying tell me that again Pugh. I need to hear that again because <laughs> now I'm sitting here all quiet thinking oh one round but like you said they, they won't come every no, fight exactly so when you slugged it out and, uh, and nicked a, a, a points decision after a 12 round Imagine brutal that. war you'll be looking thinking about yeah. Wow. yeah I'm happy man <laughs> Let me, let me change the picture of my voice. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah. Um, obviously, this was, you know, people pointed out before this was a common opponent that you and uh, Anthony Yard had in, in yeah. common. Um, went eight rounds. You, you've taken him out and around. Did, did the public to sort of take anything from that or not? That was then and this is now. Is that the way to look at it? Um, everyone's going to go to compare the market yeah. and see what Wetsy did and see what Yard did. But it's up to them, man. I went in there and said, listen, and I'll say it again, if I did it before seven, cool. If I did it after seven, cool. So I'm not going to sit here with a big S on my chest just because I did it in one. Yeah. I still stick to that. No, absolutely. And in that division, I'm sure there's going to be more opponents that you two share until finally exactly. you one day possibly may get it on. So, exactly. um, Interestingly, after the fight, um, Jose Burton, who fought early on in the card tonight. Tried to ambush me. See that. <laughs> That's all right. I was prepared. But this fight seems to make a lot of sense now. Mm. Um, and it's a fight that, from a public perspective, would love to see. So, you know, what's your do, thoughts? Do you know what? So, the thing about Burton is today he boxed a geezer that I boxed in Wales. Um, I think it was my third fight. Um, Sadie Sala boxed him in Cardiff um, late last year. In fact, about a year ago, actually, it was in, it was in October as well. Um, and talk about October, this caps the ninth year I've been boxing. Um, nine years ago I started boxing, so um, I'm happy to get that win. That was the icing on the cake. But yeah, back to Burton. Um, Eddie says it's the right fight. Um, there's other people that need to have an input for us to see whether it's the move for me. But like I keep saying, my job is to physically and mentally stay ready. Um, so if the fight is presented, I can say, okay, let's go. Mm. So. Um, yeah, people think it's the fight. You you think it's the fight. Eddie think it's the fight. Um, so like I said, let the other people have their input, and then we make a move. But other people will obviously have their input because you have people guiding your career. But from your perspective, it's the same answer. Cause fighters will fight each other, yeah. man. Let the money be right. Let the timing be right. Let everything be right. Mm. Like fighters will fight each other. I, yeah, think, sure. I think it's that simple. But I think before tonight, I don't. I suppose if you talked about yourself and Burton, we probably wouldn't have thought about that as no. your next fight. So what made people think that then? I don't know. Maybe the situation ar arising where he was the kind ambush, of... ambush, yeah, yeah. You, you can call it an ambush. <laughs> it's but an ambush. I care about the ring. <laughs> and I'm looking about, I see my team, but I spot another light heavy. It's an ambush. Okay, but... Listen, maybe that situation had to happen for it to be presented into people's minds. Yeah. Possibly that's the case. But... Now it has been presented to us. Why not? And let it grow. Let the public... Let, let the demand grow. That's the thing, man. Let the demand grow. Let people think, yeah, we do want to see this fight. Let the interest grow. And then, if it's the right move, we make it happen. But, yeah. Coogan, man, my job is to stay ready, fit, mentally. And if my trainer says, boom, take this fight, then I'll make it happen. What did you learn from that one round today? If you learned anything? Boxing is unpredictable. Uh, very, very unpredictable. I went in there prepared for 10, took my time, hit him with a body shot. He showed that it was hurting him, so I thought, okay, distract to the top and go downstairs. So um, it's unpredictable, man. I knew it, but that's the first time I've experienced it in front of myself like that. Very unpredictable. What number fight was that for you tonight? 
Um, my eighth belt. Eighth belt. <laughs> It's mad, isn't it? Because you're relatively. People think I've had 18 or 28. Yeah, yeah, they talk yeah, like yeah. you've had 18 fights, yeah, but no, you've no. had eight fights, so. Still under 10. Still under 10. Still learning. Still learning, man. Always learning. Always learning. Okay, well, listen, appreciate your time. Big Brilliant up. win Thank for you tonight. And like I said, whoever it is next, whether it be Jose Burton or whoever. You want it to be Burton, right? Absolutely. Okay. At least you <laughs> said it. Yeah. At least you said it, man. No, 100%. But I hadn't thought about it <laughs> until, <laughs> until the ambush. Until that situation arose. Bush. Okay, that's cool, man. Well, listen, everyone. Big up. Keep supporting. I want to thank God for the win. I'm extremely happy. The first rounds won't come all the time, so I've got to enjoy it. Exactly. Big up. Joshua, Boatsy, thank you very much. Talk to Eiffel TV, and we'll catch up with you soon. Have a good night. Nice one.